everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna start a new mini series, I guess we could call it. Uh, I've gotten a ton of questions over the last, I don't know, six months or so from guys that are asking about how to start a dirt company. How do you start your own company, your own business in this industry? And so I've had enough questions that I think it's worth doing its own little mini series on the Down and Dirty series itself. So today's the first installment of that and I wanna talk about how how do you just kind of in general go out and start a business, especially in this field? Because as we all know, this field is incredibly capital intensive. You have to have a lot of cash that you're going to lean to fork out, you know, right up front. Uh, and that can be extremely difficult. So I'm going to approach this um, from the standpoint of someone who's been in the industry. If you are new to the industry, if you're a younger uh, person that's coming straight out of high school, that's thinking about getting into starting your own business, one of of the biggest pieces of advice I can give you is go work for someone first. Go find a smaller company. Don't do the, the mid-sized company. Get, get in with a small company and learn all of the ins and outs of the area of the industry you wanna work in. So if your specialty and your focus of the business you wanna start is gonna be residential grading, okay, go find a company that does that and go work for them. If you wanna specialize in underground work, go find a smaller underground company and go work for them. Spend five years learning all of the ins and outs of the business. Yes, I realize I just said five years and five years sounds like a really, really scary number. It's not, I promise you it will fly by in this industry, especially when you're green and you're learning, uh, that time will go very quickly. Why do I say go work for someone? Well, the reality is running a business is effing hard. Uh, and if you don't know what you're doing in the scope of work that you're doing, you will 100% drown when you add on the complexities of trying to run your own business. So all of that to say, go learn all of the ins and outs of the area of the industry you wanna focus on first then come back to this video and learn how to start your business. Now, for those of you who are in the industry, you already know your, your craft, you already know your trade, you've decided you wanna stop working for the man. How do you go about doing that? There's a couple different ways. The first one obviously is go buy a piece of equipment and start a company. That's it, it's that easy. Sounds super scary, but it's not. Now, that's not really reality for most of us because most of us can't afford to go out and buy a skid steer, an excavator, a dump truck, and a tag trailer. So what I would recommend there, oh, by the way, I do wanna back up here. I'm sorry, I'm gonna skip around. I do wanna back up. For those of you who are starting out and wanting to learn the trade before you start your company, here's my biggest piece of advice once you've decided you're on this path and that you are gonna go work for a company, spend the five years building your credit. This is gonna tie into what I was just saying, but there's a re that's a reason I thought of it. Build your credit. Be responsible with your money. Don't let bills go unpaid. You need really, really, really good credit to go start a business. Otherwise, you are going to make your life 10 times more miserable. You're gonna have way more of a headache. So I wanted to say that. Fast forward, five years later, you've decided to start your company or you're where you are right now because you're watching this video. You've already got your experience. You wanna start your company. Hopefully, you have decent credit because pretty much anything you're gonna do in this industry, you need credit. Whether you're gonna go finance a piece of equipment, whether you're gonna go buy a bunch of fuel and have it in bulk storage containers on your lot, whether you're gonna go buy materials and stage them on your next job. If you don't have cash in hand, guess what? You need credit. You need companies that are going to trust you to give you a line of credit. If you've spent the last five to 10 years squandering your credit, guess what? You're really going to be in a tough spot. So make sure you've got decent credit. So how do you actually start? I would say the best way to start, in all honesty, is start moonlighting. Start dabbling in something. So you work your, your full-time job five days a week or so with your regular dirt company. Go over and on the weekends, rent yourself a little mini excavator, rent yourself a skid steer, something you can pull around with your pickup truck and a trailer, and start dabbling in some small jobs. That's gonna do two things for you. One, it's gonna start to build a little bit of a customer base. It's going to build a portfolio of work you're, you're, you've done. 
sorry, I don't know why I had a hard time getting that out, but you're gonna build a portfolio of work if you've done. And I will say this, make sure you take good quality pictures of your work, get nice angles. If you don't know how to do that, 100%, go pay some high school kid or some college kid a hundred bucks to come out and take some finished pictures of your jobs, maybe some nice drone footage. It is 100% worth it because now you can showcase what you're capable of doing. But start to moonlight, start to do a little, a little dabbling on the weekends because not only is it gonna build your portfolio and your customer base, it's also going to let you dip your toe in the water of what it's like running a business before you're 100% committed to running a business as the way you pay your bills. Running a business is not easy. I've talked about that. In fact, click up here and you will see the video where I discuss what it's like running a small business. It's not an easy job. So I would highly recommend you start by dabbling, you know, dabbling, dipping your toe in the waters and, and seeing if you're actually ready to handle it. I would open a DBA, which if you have no idea what that is, click up here. I have a whole video that talks about the different types of businesses you can start. I would start a DBA and just go do a little dabbling. And once you've done that for six months or so and you're comfortable with it, you feel like you can ramp some things up, that's when I would start bridging over to the conversation of opening a full-on company, going and opening an LLC. Again, go watch the video where I talk about business types. That's where I would really go down the road of starting a company. So that's really it for today. I wanna to keep these relatively short, relatively concise so I don't bore you guys, but at the same time, give you enough information in bite-sized chunks that you can digest it. So I hope this has been helpful. Go check out those other videos if you haven't already, and we'll catch you guys on the next episode. Oh, we're not even, we're not even doing one of my formal shows. We'll catch you guys on the next Down and Dirty. See ya.